guys it's Soinye here welcome to my channel today i'll be sharing with you guys few tips on how to save better as a young adult right now everybody's talking about financial freedom how to gain financial freedom how to do this everything is revolving around financial freedom financial freedom is not something you just wake up and wish into existence you have to put in the work to be able to achieve whatever financial goal you decide to set for yourself so in this video i'll be sharing with you guys tips which you can apply to help you save more saving is just one of all the other things you need to do to gain financial freedom so if this is a video you'll be interested in then keep watching create a target savings what this means is that anytime you it's time to save you split the savings you split your money according to the targets you know the different targets you have you can be changing your wardrobe buying a new human hair i don't know buying it new shoes whatever it is you decide to buy once it's time to save maybe you save monthly weekly or daily whichever one once it's time to save you split the money according to the targets you know that you save according to priority obviously you save according to priority so for example you have ten thousand naira that you want to save and you have maybe you have your travel expenses this is an example though you have your travel expenses you have your birthday expenses you have your clothing expenses you so you can just decide to split this money into three and save according to priority is it down not decide is it 20 percent that is going to what or is it 50 percent whichever one you decide but the bottom line is you have a target like you create you created a target budget for each of these expenses why this helps is that if you're just saving just for saving sake everybody should be there everybody should start saving now you're saving everything in the same place when it's time for your birthday and you want to throw a party what you would do is to go and carry all the money you've been saving all your lifelong savings and blow it and then you throw the biggest party in town after that you go broke because you won't have anything to fall back on again and no matter how much you decide to be disciplined you can say that okay for example you have hundred thousand naira in your savings and you want to throw a party and you decide that okay i'm going to throw a party of fifty thousand naira and leave fifty thousand naira back there you're lying to yourself because once it's time to throw the party you realize that you need to buy this one you need to buy that one you need to buy this dress you need to buy channel bag even after everything after the whole expenses if per adventure you stuck to your budget you might not decide after the whole birthday thing you might decide you might just stay one day back of your mind you know that you still have money left there because you didn't separate you could you just know that you're saving so you know you have that kind of amount there your mind will just tell you mm, this month is still your birthday month so you still need to take care of yourself you need to ball and that's how you're not gonna carry the rest of the money and blow it away because in your mind you see your birthday week it's it's from your birthday week it's to spill to your birthday month before you know what is happening all the money is gone you now start afresh again that's why you need to save according to your target you need to create a target saving for each of your expenses that way you know that if you're saving if your target is 50k and you get to 50k when it's time for your birthday you just go to that your target saving you take the money for your birthday you know that but your mind knows that once this money finishes there's nothing else you can do like there's no, nowhere else except a miracle happens there's nowhere else you can get money from there's nowhere else you can get any money to add for your birthday so that will make you even to have an actual budget you have a budget to stick to your budget and you throw your birthday party because of course birthday comes once in a year i hope you understand what i'm saying sha bottom line is you should create a target for each of your expenses if it's time to change your wardrobe you know that okay in september i would like to change my wardrobe you start saving towards that like you create a target this account is for changing of my wardrobe when it's time to change your wardrobe you just carry the money like that and change your wardrobe you don't have to start going other places to withdraw money because you know that this is what you've mapped out for changing of your wardrobe if this money finishes that is where your wardrobe ends i hope you understand what i'm saying track your expenses you don't just sit down and assume okay this is how much i have and this is how much i'm spending on what you need to be sure and you need to be accountable for every penny that comes in or goes out of your pocket you need to be able to say that okay this is what's spent 
mail daily or weekly or monthly on so so and so expenses that that's what i mean by tracking your expenses there are apps that help you track your expenses the reason why you need to track your expenses is that you get to find out that there are certain things that you spend way more on which are not necessary those are the kind of things you get to cut down your expenses from and there are some things that you spend on which you can totally do without tracking your expenses helps you see where and what your money goes to how you spend your money you can decide to do that daily weekly or monthly whichever one you decide but the bottom line is make sure you can give account of any penny that goes in and out of your pocket once you start tracking your expenses you have an idea of what's going on with your money the next step is to cut down on your expenses there are things that you spend way more on which are totally unnecessary which you can even spend lesser on there are things you spend money on which are totally irrelevant like things that you can totally do without those are the kind of places you cut expenses from for example if you can afford to take food from home to work every day instead of going to buy creamy pasta every day for maybe five thousand naira it's not better you just eat home cooked meal every day at the office instead of going every day to spend five thousand naira on creamy pasta this is just an example but bottom line is you know your lifestyle you know the places you can cut expenses from but it's only when you're tracking your expenses that you're able to identify okay this is where i'm going wrong this is where i should cut down my expenses you can't be spending more than you earn you need to cut your coat according to your clothes so you need to cut down on your expenses you know your lifestyle you know the things you're not supposed to be spending on and that you're spending on so you know you need to cut down on that expenses the next tip i have for you is to create a budget and stick to that budget this one is actually very hard like it's not easy but you need discipline and you need to be determined to be able to do this so you know yourself you know your lifestyle you know the kind of life you live you know the things you need to budget for things like your food your transportation maybe your clothing or toiletries things like that you need to create a budget to create a budget you need to determine how much you need to spend every day to take you for your day-to-day -day activities so you have your feeding budget you have your transportation budget you have your other things like there are miscellaneous budgets according to your lifestyle you create these budgets and you stick to it you can't create a budget and say okay for this month 50,000 naira is going to be enough for me and before the second week of the month you've already exhausted your 50,000 naira so you need to once you create a budget you need to also create a workable budget you can't just create an outrageous budget and expect it to magically work for you also when you create a budget and maybe you start earning more you still need to stick to that your budget the fact that you're earning more doesn't mean that you should inflate your budget because if you're inflating your budget based on the fact that you're earning more you're not making any head start it's just like you're just i don't know on your own journey to wherever it is you're going to but for you to save better you need to create a budget and stick to it example is feeding allowance you can decide that this for a particular month maybe if you are someone that likes eating out you like creamy pasta a lot i'm using creamy pasta a lot but you like creamy pasta a lot you can decide that okay maybe one week out of the three weeks in a month i will eat creamy pasta every other time i have to carry food from home or eat something cheaper so that i can be able to cut down on my feeding expenses because you can't be making money just to finish it on creamy pasta or whatever it is you fancy or whatever kind of food you fancy you have to find a way to make your budget work for you that is the bottom line another tip which i've been doing that has helped me a lot which i'm going to share is save a particular amount of any cash that comes your way so you go to the atm you withdraw maybe ten thousand naira. once you come back you can decide that okay you remove one thousand and put into your piggy bank and if you keep doing it like that at the end of the day you you will notice that you've actually saved a tangible amount or maybe someone comes around and maybe dashes you urgent 5k you can decide that half of the money is going into your savings that's actually a very effective way of saving like any cash that comes your way you can just take out whether it's 500 naira, whether it's 1000 you can just and put into your piggy bank bottom line is anytime cash enters your hand as long as it's your own cash you should remove a particular amount and put aside set it put it aside whether it's your piggy bank or your colo or your box anywhere it is you save your money you should take out from that cash 
and put it there if you leave it for a long while you will notice that you actually saved a tangible amount of money so that's a very effective way of saving the final thing which i'm going to say in this video is you need discipline to be able to save if you don't have discipline no matter how much you try you're still going to keep falling sideways when it comes to saving so you need to discipline your mind you need to discipline yourself you need to have goals you need to have targets which you want to achieve so that way you discipline yourself you your mind knows that this is what you're striving for so be content with yourself you can't be comparing yourself with your neighbor with the next person because your friend bought a human hair of 150,000 you too you know you can't afford it though but because you have 150,000 in your savings you will not go and carry all your money and buy the human hair that will not even last for how long meanwhile you can buy cheaper hairs if you need wigs you shouldn't be looking sideways when it comes to saving we are all on a different journey so you need to know yourself you need to be confident in yourself you need to know what you want what you're going for Today you're drawing over people that are advanced like older people out there traveling the world, going places, eating whatever they like but they're putting the work. So now that you're still young, you need to put in the work too so that when you get to that stage, you can do whatever you want with your money. But if you don't save, if you don't have any financial plan, you're just there. Any money that comes, before you know it, the money is gone. You keep buying expensive things even when you cannot afford them. If you keep doing things like this you're never going to attain financial freedom except you have your except your parents are maybe very rich and they can afford your lifestyle or whatever but aside that if you know that come rain come sunshine you're not financially buoyant don't even bother looking at other people yes they can be doing whatever it is they are doing let them do your own time will come just be patient stick to your plan you should have a financial goal plan stick to your plan and before you know it you attain your financial freedom so that is all for this video i hope you learned one or two things from it these tips have really helped me go a long way if i knew about all these things way way earlier it would have like i know where i would have been by now so i hope you learned one or two things from this video if you did give this video a thumbs up if you have any questions or you have more contributions you can leave them in the comment section so that people can read and also gain knowledge also if you're yet to subscribe to my channel you guys click the subscribe button and turn on the post notification for more videos so i'll see you in my next video thank you so much for watching bye